My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. My latest quest has brought me here to the Arcanium. There's a book here. Lost Legends. All right, I'm hoping they don't expect me to read this entire book. But it has something to do with the Galdu legend. Oh, it would be stealing. Well, we can't have that now, can we? The Archmage stealing from his own library. All right, well, I've completed what little mastery I could. Looks like illusion is the only discipline of magicka that I'm able to master. Until dragons start appearing in Skyrim, there's nothing I can do as far as alteration goes. So, I'm off to look into this Galdu legend. But before I go, let me just look at the notes I've written down. Long ago, the Archmage Galdu was murdered and his three sons were hunted down by King Harold's personal battle mage. The entire incident was covered up, their names struck from every record, but the legend survived. Perhaps someone still knows the truth of this ancient tale. All right, so I'm going alone so that I can work on building up my magic. Could be a mistake, but Nords can be foolish people sometimes. All right, I need to head to Falgunther, and it looks like oh, the Solitude Waterfront. Or the docks, we'll just go to the docks. Ah, Bandit. Now, let's see if I can orient myself here properly to put me on course for this barrow or dungeon or whatever you want to call it. Mm, this doesn't seem to be far at all. It is Fall Gun Through. And what 
besides this, there's a standing stone nearby. Well, we'll stick to our mission. Well, this can't be good, an abandoned camp. Hmm, a journal. All right, this I will read. How long has it been since I first heard the Galdur legend? Eighty years? A hundred? I can think of nothing else now. My goal is at hand. After years of searching, I finally traced the Ivory Claw to a collector in Bravel. His death was necessary, but I have it. At last, I have it. Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers and took passage on the Ice Runner, bound for solitude once more. The other passengers are becoming suspicious. Returning from dinner, I caught one brute rooting around in my quarters. He almost found the claw. Had the captain not intervened, I would have flayed him. Alive. I hope to spend the voyage sequestered in my room, reviewing my notes and preparing spells. But I need to deflect some attention from myself. I have to mingle, pretend to be just another petty mage. For now. The Brute claims to be an adventurer off to seek his fortune in the ruins of Skyrim with his companions. Perhaps I can turn this to my advantage, use them as fodder for the traps and draugr within the tombs. I can see the greed in his eyes. Yes, that should work. Three weeks to solitude, the captain says. If I have to suffer these fools longer than that, I'll swim. With the brute and his companions in tow, I led our band across the marsh to Falgunther, where we made camp for the night. Little has changed since my first expedition ten years ago, but this time I have the claw, and I will have the amulet. I spent all night preparing a synopsis of my notes in case some fragment of the tale or piece of ancient lore may be needed to bypass the wards within the tomb. Then I cast all my books and scrolls into the fire and reduced my life's work to ashes. At long last, today is the day of reckoning. If I cannot have the amulet, no one will. Well, that's an interesting story. I need some death bell. I was working on my alchemy earlier, and I've run out. All right, so it looks like I'm headed somewhere else. Where is the entrance? Ah, up here. All right, bandit, you'll be all right. You stay where you are. All right, soul gem. In we go to Fulgunther. Well, I suppose this is inviting enough. Blood. It's always a nice gesture for a vampire to see when entering a tomb. Let's 
So, it looks like this adventurer tried to fight off these two Draugr. And wasn't very successful. So, I think it's time that you nourished me. <laughs> and as it so happens, your adventuring days are not over. <laughs> That's it. Rise. Come on, let's go. Hmm. So, never enough gold. Just need one good hole. They must have brought the claw at least this far. Wait. I'm hearing sounds. It looks like they solved another puzzle. Start keeping a knife in my boot. Try to get disarmed. Careful. Corpse. Ah, uh, out. <laughs> Great. Thank you. No, thank you. Barely lasted long enough. You were a mage. Frost cloud is not as effective as I'd like it to be. All right, that's one down. What? I'm trapped in here. Got them all. Hmm. I really don't know how these mages do it. Ah, another adventurer. Excellent. Look at 
this a skill book underneath? <laughs> Excellent. I never would have seen it if I hadn't revived you. All right, what do we have here? Excellent. Get him while he's sleeping. Stormlord Curus. All right, let's get moving. Really? And you know I've been enjoying the peace and quiet. Just what I need. And this this is man, is he an adventurer or a bandit? I'm not sure. But the singing. I'm not sure I can deal with it. At least he's on a timer. <laughs> So, Danus Valen. And what do you know? He has the claw. I'll take that and let me check his notes. How to summarize a lifetime of research. So little. <laughs> yes, there's there's something that's obscuring my vision. Now, so little of what I have learned matters now. The petty politics of ancient times, the age-long campaign to wipe out all mention of the Galdur name. I know not what awaits us within Falgunther. So here, then, is the truth of the tale as best I've been able to piece it together. In the opening days of the first era, the Archmage Galdur was revered throughout the North. Wisdom, wealth, honor, and power were his. And even Isgramor's heirs sought his counsel. Smothered by his shadow, Galdur's three sons grew cruel and resentful. They lusted after their father's power and prestige, and eventually, Jirik, the eldest, discovered its source, a mysterious amulet, from which he never parted. Together, they conspired to murder their father in his sleep and divide his amulet between them, so it was done. Consumed by their newfound power, the brothers laid waste to the surrounding villages. So great was the carnage that the High King himself intervened, sending a company of battle mages led by the Archmage Germund to subdue the brothers. After a devastating battle, the three fled the field. Mikral, the youngest, was run to ground in Fulgunther, the ancient barrow at the foot of solitude, and though he fought for three days and nights, he was at last overcome and entombed there, his crypt sealed by an ivory claw. Germond pursued Jyric to the shattered crypts of Sarthal. Half buried even then, ten veteran wizards fell before Jyric's elemental magic. But he could not overcome them altogether. He too fell and was sealed within the ruined city. And at last, Sigdis 
was cornered in the south, south, southernmost reaches of Skyrim. He challenged Lord Garriman to a duel, knowing his foe was honor-bound to accept. And they clashed in battle, matching strength for strength, and fell together on the field before Iverstead. The High King ordered a tomb built for Garamond on the lake which still bears his name, and had Sigis Sigdis sealed within, forever guarded by the one who slew him. Galdur himself was interred in a cave not far from where his tower once stood, in a place called Reachwater Rock. And when it was done, King Harold issued an edict, the name and deeds of Galdur, and his sons were to be expunged from every record, every chronicle. Under pain of death, no word of them was ever to be spoken lest any try to recover the amulet that had been sealed so great a cost. And so it was done, but a little survived the ages enough. Four thousand years have passed and the tombs remain sealed. The fragments of the Galdu amulet lie within. Since the day I first heard the rumor, I have felt its power calling to me, pulling at me. I will be the one to reclaim it, restore it, bear it out into the world once more. I must have it. I must. And you see where this got him. All right. Well, I'm not sure where my adventurer went, but let's see if I can have Danus instead. Yes. It's time for you to finish carrying out your mission. <laughs> now. Let's use the key, as it was intended. Oh no. All right. Let's see here. I'm going with frostbite. Even though they're using ice. So we won't go with frostbite then. Out, Danus. Oh, he didn't last long. No. robes. They offer me no protection at all. Takes me forever to use my magicka to destroy, but it is becoming more powerful. All right. Let's 
Let's see if I can reanimate this. Yes. Telling you these reanimates aren't la lasting very long at all. And what did we have here? Seven gold. Awakening. <laughs> Taking so long to use my magicka. There. Look at this. All right, let me see if I can. Oh, there's someone else in here. I was going to see about reanimating this. Yes. Since the other Draugr didn't want to cooperate. Oh no, what do we have here? Oh, neither of these are cooperating. All right. I think I'm just gonna have to guess here. It doesn't look like I'm going to be using these draugers for assistance. him. Yes. Really? I 
know you're dead. All right. Is there anything up here? No. I tell you, this is really putting my magic to the test. Let me see, can I reanimate him from a standing position? get to the door. Uh-oh. doesn't seem to have any effect. No, no magic. Come on. And that Draugr still cannot help me. Mm, already down. That's a nice try. All right. Oh, there's an eagle over here. Wait. There's lots of things here. At least these enemies are out of the way. All right, I heard footsteps. Now, I have no idea. Hold it, there's a marker here, Snake. Well, there's a marker here, too.
snake, whale, eagle, snake, whale, eagle. Let's see if this will work. Snake, whale, eagle. There. Uh-oh. Something's in here. Wait, a spider. thought it was actually something formidable. Puzzle door. of magicka. I am really putting in some magicka work here in this dungeon. It doesn't seem like it does me any good to reanimate these, though I think I will after I've opened this door. We have two eagles and a dragon.
He's still paralyzed there. He's moving. But will he follow me? I think that's gonna be a no. Can you follow me? There, that looks better. All right, it's time to head into the Fulgunther crypt. Oh, this doesn't look good. I'm not playing around this time. Is that it? I think it is. One of these marked me for death, but at least I survived, barely. All right, we have the Galdur Fragment. And here is also a sword and a writ of sealing. Be bound here, Mikrol, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. All right. Is there anything else here of value? No chest?
can use the claw again. But this is a dead end and I can hear chanting. Here we are. There's the chest I was looking for. Hmm. I can read this easier now. Frost breath. How is this happening? Sky Shard. <laughs> Nordic Claymore. All right, let's go back. So now we have two pieces of the Galder amulet, and there is a third. <laughs> 